Hey, what's up, Wildcats? For those of you who don't know, there's a bill being proposed by legislation right now that would allow anybody over the age of 21 with a concealed weapons permit to carry a gun on U of A campus. I really don't know what to think about this. <laughs> Wait, I know exactly what I think about this. This is a terrible idea. This bill would allow guns to be carried in any public place at the U of A. Any public place. That includes libraries, the gym, dormitories, frat houses, sorority houses, the classroom, the library, the library. Anybody on U of A campus, so people who don't even go to school here or teach here or administer here can carry a gun on U of A campus. College is supposed to be a scholarly environment. Why is the presence of guns necessary on a school campus? <laughs> And what people really don't understand is that the U of A is a wet campus. Do you know where I'm going with this? Since when has it been a good idea to possess alcohol and weapons at the same time? Come on. Arizona being a gun-friendly state as it is, you're allowed to have guns in bars and restaurants in Arizona, but you are not permitted to drink. It's the law. If this bill passes, 21-year-old college students, that means the bare minimum of drinking responsibility can legally possess a firearm while under the influence of alcohol in school living quarters. What kind of sense does that make? Personally, I don't like guns. I don't like cops. And I hate the fact that cops carry guns. But the police are paid to shoot people. Let the police do their job. If an incident such as the Virginia Tech massacre, Lord forbid, ever happened, is it really a good idea to take the matter of safety of yourself and your peers into your own hands. Okay, so you might have a concealed weapons permit, but let me ask you this. Have you ever shot at somebody? Has anybody ever shot at you? If you answer no to either of those questions, then I don't trust you. If you did answer yes to either of those questions, I still don't trust you. What are you doing getting shot at? According to science, an individual doesn't reach full maturity until about the age of 25. How many 25-year-olds do you know walking around the U of A campus? Most of us graduate years before we hit 25. I just don't trust that there are enough fully mature people walking around the U of A campus writing to make decisions in life or death situations. And when the police do arrive at the scene, how are police supposed to differentiate between the actual shooters and the individuals that defended themselves? Do you get what I'm talking about? Now, don't get me wrong. It does say in the legislature that the U of A can still in fact ban guns from public establishments. But the set of requirements behind this is ridiculous. The U of A would have to post signs at every entrance of every building in which they wish to have guns prohibited from. Saying like, no guns allowed, or firearms or weapons are not prohibited on this establishment, but shorter because it's on a sign. And that's the easiest requirement on this bill. The U of A would have to provide gun storage at all of these buildings as well. So they have to what? Create gun lockers in every single public building at the U of A. On top of this, metal detectors would have to be required. Because how else would you know if someone's carrying a concealed weapon or not? So students are going to have to walk through metal detectors to get into any building on the U of A campus? Are there going to be lines? What if you're late for class? What if my bag goes off? Are they going to pat me down? On top of this, the U of A will have to hire additional security personnel in order to man the new metal detectors and gun lockers. The Arizona Board of Regents estimates that this will cost about $6.69 million the first year and $692,988 in annual personnel costs. And wild guess where the money would come from. That's right, our education. And for those of you saying, wait, this is only if the U of A decides to prohibit guns from public establishments. Guess what? The University of Arizona School Board have already expressed their adamant about keeping guns outside of public facilities. I don't see why the U of A has to invest millions of dollars in order to uphold policies that have been around since forever. I feel like this is like a catch-22. The U of A either has to forfeit their right to prohibit guns from buildings or invest millions of dollars in order to ensure that buildings stay safe from firearms. This is so wrong. But that's just me. I just wanted to uh, share some of my thoughts. I wanted to let you know what's going on around your campus because I know a lot of you do not read. P.S. I apologize for the nasally voice and the stuffy nose. These allergies are kicking my ass. And uh, I know my eyes are kind of low in the video and it's 420, but no, I'm not high. P.P.S. Is anybody thinking petition? Because I am. You can find my information at the bottom of the link. If you guys want to contact me and share ideas with me, that would be great. But um, thank you for listening and bear down.